Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift guide. Today I'll be talking about Camille. Camille is one of the hardest champions to master in Wild Rift, but once you really get the hang of her, she becomes incredibly strong. In this video, I'll be talking about everything you need to know to be able to master Camille yourself. I'll be talking about Camille's abilities, skill combos, recommended build, and much more. You can find timestamps in the description in case you want to skip around in the video. Let's start with the abilities. Camille's passive grants her a shield when she attacks an enemy champion. This shield is based on the enemy's damage. If the enemy deals more physical damage, you will get a red shield that blocks physical damage. If your enemy deals more ability damage, you will get a blue shield that absorbs ability damage. This shield has a 10 second cooldown and is a great way to outtrade an enemy champion in a 1v1 situation. You can basically engage the enemy, deal damage and get a shield and go out. Then you wait for 10 seconds to get your shield up again and you engage again. Her first ability empowers her next basic attack to deal bonus damage. After you hit one empowered basic attack, she gets another one. However, you can wait for 1.5 seconds after hitting the enemy once to deal massive damage with your second empowered attack because it deals true damage instead. You should pretty much always wait for the second attack to become buffed as it deals way more damage than a normal empowered attack. Her first ability is also a basic attack cancel. So you should try to basic attack the enemy before casting your first ability and also before the second cast of your first ability to deal maximum damage per second as showed in the video. The first empowered attack also grants you extra movement speed for one second to be able to catch up to the enemy. I'll be talking about some crazy combos that you can do with your first ability to really surprise the enemy with massive burst damage later in the video. Her second ability makes Camille slice in a certain direction. As you can see, there are two spots that she can hit the enemies. You can either hit the enemy in the inner half or the outer half. You should always try to hit your enemy in the outer half. No exceptions. You will deal way more damage. And on top of that, you will slow them by 80% for two whole seconds. And on top of all that, you will also heal up. I cannot stress enough how important it is to hit the enemy in the outer half as it really helps you win in 1v1 situations and it grants your team a massive advantage in team fights if you manage to slow some enemy champions for two whole seconds. Your third ability is a hook that you can throw at a wall to dash towards it and then you can recast the ability to dash to any direction. This ability is the reason why Camille is a very mobile champion. You can utilize this ability to easily escape from an enemy champion by just hopping over a wall. This ability is not only an amazing escape ability, but also one of the best engaging abilities in Wild Rift. If you dash and hit an enemy champion with this ability, you will deal damage. You will stun the enemy for one second. And on top of that, you will gain a lot of attack speed for five seconds. Yes, five seconds. That's right. This is massive and you must master this ability to increase your chances of hitting an enemy champion with it as it makes you so much stronger in a fight. This is a core ability of Camille and you really need to be able to aim well with this ability. It might be hard when you start playing Camille to effectively cast this ability, but practice makes perfect. Play some bot matches and really focus on just hitting your third ability on the enemy. Once you get the hang of it, try it out in some casual matches to learn how to hit enemy human players as well. Trust me, this ability is quite hard to hit and it needs practice. Camille's ultimate ability is a true game changer. You will leap to an enemy and put walls around him for 4 seconds. These walls are not normal walls however. You literally cannot escape them in any way. You can't even flash out of these walls. When you cast this ultimate, you will also deal 20% of the enemy's current HP damage. This ability is a true game changer because you can hard focus an enemy that is hard carrying the game. You will have 4 seconds to kill the enemy champion with your team if you manage to hit your ultimate on him. If, for example, the enemy Ezreal is hard carrying the match and your team just can't kill him, you can flash in and use your ultimate on him. This will give your team 4 seconds to kill the Ezreal while he can't escape your ultimate and can't go anywhere. There is also another thing that not many people know about Camille's ultimate, which is that you become untargetable while you're casting the ultimate. So if you have amazing reflexes, you can dodge an enemy ability. You can, for example, dodge Darius ultimate, which is game changing. You will win almost every 1v1 against Darius, for example, if you're able to dodge his ultimate with yours. 
Make sure to give this video a like if you're enjoying it and subscribe if you haven't already. You shouldn't get discouraged by how hard Camille is, because once you master her, she becomes incredibly strong. The things that allow you to master Camille are her combos. She has some amazing combos that you can utilize, and I will talk about a few that I find the best and most important. The first combo she has is something not many players utilize well. When you cast her first ability, you get extra movement speed. This means that you can cast your A on a minion or anything else, and then you can potentially catch up to an enemy champion with the bonus movement speed. The next easy combo she has is this. You can cast her A, and then while you're charging for the buffed attack, you can use your B to slow the enemy, and then you can hit your A on them again. This is great for 1v1s as it's incredibly hard for your enemy to escape due to the 2 second slow from your B ability. You can use this combo if you're sure that you win a 1v1 matchup. By the way, don't forget to use a basic attack before casting your A because your A is an auto attack cancel, don't forget. The next combo is a little more advanced. You can use your A and then you can dash to an enemy champion and then immediately hit them with the buffed A which deals true damage. This will give you a lot of burst damage prior to the fight, which can be used to surprise the enemy with a lot of damage. Bonus for hitting the enemy champion with your dash as well, by the way, as you will deal even more damage and stun the enemy and get the extra attack speed to dominate the fight. The next combo is very advanced and quite hard to pull off effectively. You can use your B ability during your dash to immediately deal damage and to slow the enemy on top of the stun. The reason that this combo is really hard to pull off is because you have to hit your enemies in the outer half of your B while dashing towards them and trying to hit them. You should practice this combo if you're already really good with Camille. You really have to time this perfectly, but if you master this combo, you will be able to use the full potential of Camille. About the ultimate ability, I recommend you to use your ultimate after casting your A once. The reason for that is because you get a buffed attack immediately after casting your ultimate, which is huge. You will do massive burst damage and the enemy cannot escape for 4 seconds. Camus has more combos, which you can explore yourself in practice mode more, but these are the most important combos that you should try to get good at. Camille is literally trash without the combos, so you should really practice the combos before getting into a real match. I will make guides for every single champion, I will link a playlist in the description with all my current guides, so make sure to check it out if you want to see more. Let's talk about builds and runes. I have one core build that you can use as a default build on Camille. There are obviously different items that you should build in different games, but this is a great default build that deals a lot of damage and also makes you very tanky in the late game. You can just copy this build for now, and when you get more familiar with the items, you can properly itemize in every single game. These are also the runes I like to use. I put a link in the description where I play Camille. It is a very intense 30 plus minute game, so make sure to check it out if you want to learn Camille. That was it for today's video. I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye bye. <laughs>